Are you a real estate agent that's unsure how to answer the tough questions in regards to the NAR settlement? Today, we've got a specific piece of technology that's gonna position you to have all the answers you've been looking for. Welcome to Real Estate AI Flash, the podcast dedicated to real estate professionals to demystify AI and give you practical strategies that you can apply to your business today. I'm your co-host, Rajiv Saja. And the other co-host, Jimmy Burgess. And we are excited for you to be a part of this. If you haven't had a chance yet, make sure you go out and that you subscribe to the podcast. Also, we would really appreciate if you could leave us a review. It helps us spread the message that as a real estate community, we are stronger together. Now let's get to this episode. Welcome to another episode of Real Estate AI Flash, where Jimmy and I break down what's happening and helping you power up with AI. And this is gonna be a good one because there's a lot going on with the NAR settlement, Jimmy, and there's so many scripts, negotiation tactics to really thrive in a post-settlement world. And we've built a custom GPT with AI to help you get powered up and stay powered up. Yeah, and Rajiv, what's great about this is, is the last thing you wanna do, especially when it comes to these questions that a lot of people have as far as how do I answer certain questions with an R settlement. Last thing you want to do is practice with your prospect. And so this is going to give you the ability to go in, begin to practice and to see some different scenarios, play them out, see what the artificial intelligence is going to tell you. Then obviously you're going to, as always, polish this a little bit, put it in your own words, make it personal. And then it's going to give you the framework that uh, you can walk in confidently that if you get these questions, you're going to be able to answer. Yeah, for sure. So If you're listening to this, this is probably an episode that you should actually go watch the YouTube video of this episode because we want to share the screen. The video will be in the show notes. Make sure you get that and kind of you can kind of see how this works. So we're going to set the stage a little bit for custom GPTs and what they mean. And let me mention one thing, uh, Raji. If you're listening to this audio portion, I'll promise you I'm going to do my best to be the play-by-play where this will make sense to you. But as Rajiv said, I would bookmark this one, this episode and go back and watch the video. But we're absolutely going to give you this in an audio version where you can follow us and understand what we're looking at. Yeah, for sure. So just to level set, because we don't want to assume everybody understands custom GPTs. Custom GPTs today at the time of this recording are only available for the paid GPT users. However, May 7th, OpenAI made an announcement. I even got an email on it yesterday, Jimmy, saying, hey, you built custom GPTs. Just want you to know anyone that has the free GPT will access the public GPTs in the GPT store any day now. So as you're listening to this, this is being rolled out. But if you don't see it, you know why. But it's coming to every GPT user, whether you're paid or unpaid. And the only difference there is the paid ones, paid folks, like I have an account, Jimmy has an account, we can build GPTs. But for the purpose of this, we've already built it for you, which we're going to demo as part of this episode. And you would simply go under Explore GPTs on the left. Yeah. And while you're doing that, pulling that, Rajiv, let's talk a little bit just from a foundational standpoint of what an actual these GPTs are so that the average agent out there understands the framework of what we're doing here. For sure. For sure. So all of us have sort of used chat GPT at some level, whether it's basic, intermediate, or advanced. And when you start having a conversation in chat GPT, just by typing text, think of it as a universal smart assistant. It's good at a lot of things, right? Because you just can, and you can articulate the prompts and get it what you want, whether it's social media, email marketing, et cetera. Custom GPTs are really about building something for a specific task. We talk about chat GPT being an untrained employee, Jimmy. Right. I want to have an employee that is good with NAR settlements, can give me the answer. I want an employee that's really good with social media. I want an employee that's good with YouTube marketing. That's where custom GPTs that are trained to do one thing and one thing only really well. And the beauty of it is there are already 3 million in the store and more coming. But the beauty of what we're going to show you today in this episode is something that we've built so we know what went into it, so we can really trust the output. And that's yeah, really where is, we're going with this. So Yeah, I almost think of it, you know, like we talked about an untrained assistant. I almost think about this with the custom GPTs. It's like going out and getting a consultant on a specific area. So in other words, if I'm wanting to teach our agents and I was going to hire a coach, 
to specifically speak on this, I would want a coach that would come in that would have an understanding of a specific topic. So that's what this is going to be. And this is what we're going to go through and, and talk about. And that's why, you know, this is a very specific topic that is the hottest topic and one of the ones that most agents are not as burst on or that they feel like they are maybe not as prepared as they could be. And that's what this is going to solve for them is with this specific GPT that we're going to talk about today. Yeah, for sure. And the reason we're doing it now is because it's going to come to the GPT store. It's going to be available for the masses and you don't need a paid subscription to access this GPT. That's great. So that's why this episode is very timely. So when you go and when you see this on the left, it's rolling out for paid. It's currently for paid, but free will get it. When you click this, here are all of the 3 million plus GPTs you can search on. However, what we've done is, as an example, if you type in my name, Rajiv Saja, it will show you all of the GPTs that are in the store that I've published. Okay. And as you listen to this months from now, there will be more yeah. GPTs. We're learning, we're building. So it's our way of giving back to the community of our real estate AI flash. But there you go. Listing presentation unlocked by Jimmy Burgess is there in the drop down. Well, I will say this is what's going to be great. I think if anybody's listening to this and go, if you just go into and hit explore GPTs and type in Rajiv's uh, name, you're going to see and a snapshot, even if it's not been published yet on one of our episodes, exactly what Rajiv is working on, that in every, all of these are built to help agents. So I think this is a great place. If you haven't done this yet, first thing I would do is, is go in there and search into Rajiv's name. It's going to give you, for those of you that are listening, a de brief description of exactly what each of these, what their role and what they're trying to do and how they help you solve a specific problem. And so as you see those, that's going to help you get a better idea of what you're looking for. But this one in particular is the REAIF Agent Skills Whiz. And so that's the one that we're going to be talking about today. Yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And REAIF stands for Real Estate AI Flash. So it's an easy way to find all our yes. GPTs. So, so here we are. So what we've done, Jimmy, is we've taken the 109-page NAR settlement and trained the GPT model. And the beauty of this is we know what went into it. So the output is something we can trust and it just over time. So if you're using this and you find something that is not accurate, let us know because we yes. can tweak it on the fly. And we also have fed it some tried and true scripts that agents can have with buyers and sellers. And so this is what the GPT is trained for. And for those of you that are new to GPTs, custom GPTs, any GPT in, a, in the store, you can always ask it the question, what does this GPT do? And it will tell you. And so right. these are conversation starters here that we built. What does this GPT do? How do I explain buyer agency to a client? How do I respond to sellers asking about paying buyer commissions? And some frequently asked questions. Doesn't mean these are the only four questions you can ask it. These are just starting the conversation, right? And that's important to know with any GPT. So I'm going to have... Rajiv, yeah. before you go into that, this to me is, is this would be once you come to this page... Like you see the way that Rajiv has, has structured this, this would be your opportunity to basically listen to the intro, basically to the basics that the consultant, if they're doing that specific topic. So going in there and clicking, what does this GPT do? It's going to tell you exactly. I mean, you, you're doing that now, obviously, for those of you watching on the screen, this tells you exactly what it does. Then it should prompt, feel free to ask me any questions around this. Now, also like you did, if we want to go back, I don't know if we can go back to that tab, the initial tab. But one of the things that's interesting to me is that we can go to, you know, if you've got a question along the lines of you're meeting with a buyer or you're meeting with a seller, let's do the buyer first. How do I explain buyer agency to a client? That's one of these prompts that naturally gets the conversation started. So now you're going to get a generalized overview of exactly what the roles are, the responsibilities, you know, all these different things that it's done that by building this the right way, Rajiv has already given you the foundation. Now, this is when we can get into more specifics. And that's where I think, I know you're going with this, but this is what's encouraging to me is, if you just did this, you're gonna have enough information to formulate a very, very distinct script that is in your voice that answers the tough questions that a lot of people have questions about right now. But I'm gonna let you take it from there. I just think this is, this is exciting to me because now we're at a place with the technology and with developers like you where we can build these custom GPTs specific to tasks that will obviously, it's just getting smarter and smarter every time that somebody uses it as well. So 
Yeah, for sure. And you use the word developer and the, the developer in the, of the future is just somebody that can prompt it. You don't need to be a technologist, yes. right? Mm -hmm. As much as we're tech geeks at heart, and some of us at least. So, so the beauty of this is it kind of gives you a framework here of what all the things that a buyer agent does. And it also references, hey, after July 2024, these commissions won't be listed in the MLS. Kind of, it has this settlement specific information. All fees and costs should be clear and transparent. Buyer agency contract will detail how the agent is paid, et cetera. Now, if I have a follow up question, and let's just ask it like, what are the various ways that a buyer can pay their agent? Right. I mean, this is also something that's a relatively new concept. It's evolving, obviously, with the buyer can pay there several ways, depending on the agreement between the buyer and the agent and sellers and agents. So it's going to outline everything that we've sort of scripted out of pocket payment. Okay. Buyer pays the agent directly from their funds. And it's going to list everything you need to know. And this can also, another way to use this, Jimmy, is take this and put it in a document that you have to review it with the sellers, right? Seller mm -hmm. paid commission. Yeah. And a big component of all of this is the other side of it, this listing agent, right? And it'll also kind of give you scripting around what is the value of the seller, including some concessions. So maybe that's the next question we ask. And it's giving you increased purchase price, seller concessions, seller paid commissions, financing options. It's training you on all options that are available. Yeah. So let me give you a, a practical way, Rajiv, also that I've thought about from this standpoint is, is you know, we're working on it personally with the scripting on the seller side from a standpoint of the seller asking the question, well, my understanding now is, is that I don't have to pay the buyer side commission. Well, of course, you never, you know, you've always been able to negotiate your commission. However, let me give you some reasons why it may make sense. Well, then you just come in here and you you ask it the question, why might a seller consider paying the buyer side commission when they do not have to or whatever you want to add there. So basically just ask the question. And again, there's no wrong question. You can always reframe it. Yeah. But just basically coming in there and saying, what are some reasons that a seller may decide to offer buyer concessions or commission despite the NAR ruling? And then yeah, that's so going to give you the ability to really begin to understand some of those reasons. Let me say this also is a lot of times when we're working with this, this should give you the framework that then you should build personally. Because a lot of times what happens is, and this is getting better and better, but in initially, it's going to give you some things. I've always said stats tell, stories sell. So how is it that you can utilize this to get the framework and the stats and the right scripting, but then you put your own spin on it in a way that is personalized for those potential sellers or buyers, whoever you're speaking with, in a way that gives them an understanding of the true reason why it may make sense. So as we get ready to do some of this, I know this is going to slowly get started here. This is going to be great. Yeah. And, and this is really your question. Why do I as a seller want to consider providing concessions to the buyer or the buyer agent? Yes. And if I do that, it's going to walk me through, attract more buyers. This is going to result in increased interest, market competitiveness, facilitate a smoother transaction, potential for higher offers, Faster so sale because you're exposing the market to the most buyers because their buyer agent is incentivized and alignment with market norms. In many market, it's customary to offer concessions despite the ruling and there's a right way to do it. Improve buyer satisfaction so the buyer doesn't have to come up with the money. So it's giving you eight points here. Maybe four really apply to you. And that's where, Jimmy, you're touching on is taking this and polishing it. But it's a great place to kind of start because it's kind of having all those conversations. And again, what we asked it, if there's another thought you have, ask it, and it will just have a conversation with you. So it's a NAR settlement agent skills assistant is what it is. Let me just encourage the agent that's out there that's hearing this for the first time, get on and play with this. Listen, knowledge is power, but it's only power if you apply it. And this is something where Rajiv has done the hard work of preparing this, of uploading all the details of the scripting that he's added in here to put us in a position where as agents, we now that we're always looking for have the easy button, so to speak, to be able to understand this in a way. So from that standpoint, I've always said, you know, but wisdom comes from the council of many. This is a actual think tank of ideas that have been brought and put into one place where you can maximize this and utilize it to serve your clients at the highest level possible. That is ultimately what all of this is about. Ultimately, what the reason why Rajiv and I love this so much is, is that it puts us into position 
to serve at a higher level and with more effectiveness the people that we've been entrusted to serve. So, Rajiv, I mean, thank you on behalf of as an agent, first off, for putting this together. But I would just highly encourage the agents that are listening to this, go in and play with this. Go in and search under Rajiv, under Explore GPTs. Test this out. Try it. Ask the question that you hope you're not going to, that you don't get asked and see if you can't come up with an answer where now you walk into those appointments boldly, understanding better than ever how you can help your folks. Yeah, Jimmy. So our company just finished training and many companies are doing training on this. And you're sitting in a room with like 300 people and some of them are gun shy raising their hand to ask a question. This is your private tutor that is fully aware of everything that you need to know about it. And just ask the question and it'll just have a conversation and we have so much information floating around. And I think what this GPT does is it brings all of them together on that specific topic and gets you powered up. Because if you're powered up, you can serve your clients better. Yes. And now there's no excuse. If you're saying, well, I'm not really sure about this. Well, that's on you now, because now you've got the ability to go in and really learn everything you need to know. I mean, you could literally go in and ask it specifics on everything that has involved with this. And it's going to give you a framework of that opinion and that understanding of this in a way that you can be that leader in your local market. So such good stuff, my friend. I mean, this keeps getting better and better. I mean, this is one, obviously, we want to rush this episode out to as many people as possible because it's it's not just uh, timely, but it is something that is so needed right now with all of the confusion and misinterpretation of actually what this means and how how agents should be working with their clients going forward. And Jimmy and I are always here serving clients and agents in this space. And if you've never had a chance to follow our show or give us a review, go ahead and do that because it'll help us more reach more people. Yeah, and listen, Rajiv, I know that there are people out there that are wondering exactly what to do. We're gonna continue to find the best ways possible to position you to be that local expert, utilizing the technology that's available today so you can serve at a higher level. Listen, we appreciate all the follows. Again, as Rajiv mentioned, give us that review. It just helps us out. Make sure that we're spreading this message that we're all stronger together. Talk to you guys next week. This podcast has been produced by TSC Studios. Music is courtesy of Soundstripe. Audio and video editing is provided by Noah Escobar. Graphic design by Melinda McKnight. And special thanks to Jordan Wilson of Your Everyday AI for the inspiration and expertise.